vi <coughs> the year of be uh, chairman Mr. James Banda Ezesco chairman Ms. Sangule year be Director General Mr. Elijah Sichone Zesco Acting MD Mr. Justin Longo Rural Electrification Authority Acting MD Madam Irene Muchimba The Presidential Delivery Unit Representatives Other Senior Government Officials Present Heads of parastatals and statutory bodies present, captains of industry, church mother bodies, civil society organizations, members of the press, fellow citizens, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, today we gather here yet again to update the nation on the energy situation in our country. During our update of 16th August 2024, we announced some factors that would impact availability of power supply, such as declining water levels, and the planned annual maintenance at Mamba Energy Thermal Power Plant. On account of this, we did announce to the nation an increase in the number of power rationing hours from 12 hours to 17 hours daily effective 1st of September 2024. However, we wish to inform the nation that during this week we have been experiencing power transfer constraints in the southern circuit via Namibia, which has resulted in reduced power imports of about 100 megawatts, causing therefore increased hours of load shedding in some locations. In this regard, we wish to inform the nation that the converter fault on the Namibian power importation route, we continue to work around the clock to find solutions to improve power supply and keep the wheels of our economy running. Therefore, in addition to the 168 megawatts emergency power imports already secured from ESCOM of South Africa, as announced in the last briefing, other measures have been deployed, uh, which include but not limited to the following. One, the addition of 50 megawatts of emergency power imports has now been secured from Southern Africa power pool and started flowing effective 24th of August 2024. Two, citizens may wish to note that the first consignment of nine out of 23 diesel generators procured by Zesco have now arrived in the country while the remaining 14 are expected to arrive in the country uh, this coming week. Now, the nine diesel generators that have been received so far will be installed this week, beginning with two at Chilenje and Nyumbayanga markets, and another two to be installed at Soweto Market. Therefore, the installation of all the 23 diesel generators 
will be completed by 30th September 2024. Fellow citizens, following the Energy Regulation Board's decision to reject the ZESCO emergency upward tariff application, I wish to take this opportunity to inform the nation that the government has taken in keen interest on in this matter and is seeking alternative means and ways to support ZESCO Limited. Uh, to this end, we will shortly announce how ZESCO will be supported following the recommendations of the Energy Regulation Board. On a related subject, fellow citizens may wish to note that following the signing of the uh, electricity net metering regulations in Tulo, the Energy Regulation Board has now published the net metering and connection fees to enable the public to participate as producers and consumers of electricity on the national grid and support the country's solar uptake. The ERB has uh, determined one quarter 59 in per kilowatt hour as the net metering tariff and that the distribution use of system charge shall not exceed 39 in way per kilowatt hour. ERB has determined that these tariffs will apply until 31st December uh, 2024, at which point they may be reviewed. Although Southern Africa Region Climate Outlook Forum has predicted that there will be no more rains in the coming season, government's vision to get Zambia to a balanced energy mix remains on course. Forecast and deliver what we have promised to the people of Zambia. In this regard, fellow citizens may wish to note that a memorandum of understanding was signed just two days ago with Power China with a view to establishing a robust framework for development of power projects as well as ensure stability and security of power supply. As I conclude, I wish to appeal once again to you fellow citizens, specifically energy intensive consumers, to optimize production schedules and to deploy alternative sources of energy were available to aid grid relief. With those few remarks, I end here and I thank you. Those were very uh, short remarks, straight to the point by uh, Permanent Secretary uh, technical, the Minister of Energy, Mr. Peter uh, Mumba. This is a, an occasion for the press, an occasion to ask all those burning questions, clarifications, and uh, everything in between. At this point, I'll now invite uh, uh, Mr. Mwika Munindima to come and uh, manage this part of uh, the process. I didn't have to do with the microphone, but I think he needs one. Colleagues, we are at that point where we can ask questions. So in the usual fashion, um, you raise your hands, you introduce yourself, in name and institution you are representing, then ask your question. We'll take a set of three questions, and then if we have to, we'll go to the next set. So we can start with the lady here. Hello, my name is Daisy Mrenga from County D. My question goes to Zesco. Uh, as much as we're trying to deliberate on the flexible energy mix, my interest lies in net metering. Now, since inception, that first August, if I'm not mistaken, 
Uh, I'd like to find out how many people have subscribed so far. And also, I think the other thing that I'd also want to find out is what are the plans for expanding this course to other parts of Zambia? But most importantly, what's the criteria used for somebody to, to, to qualify for this good time? Thank you. Okay. Is there any other question? Is a hand over here? Good morning, Kate, and good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Mansal Oto, Mukwaya from ZMBC. Uh, please, I want to find out um, the generator that you've spoken about, how much uh, power will reach the PDC and also how much will be saved from the facilities that will be put on these generators. And also, um, on a different note, uh, the president recently directed that uh, dealers of solar energy equipment that are in joint uh, government incentives uh, to the effect of them being generated, but then this is not uh, to consumers be uh, 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 approached to make sure that consumers benefit from this. Want to find out uh, how far uh, that has gone, and also in the same vein, the establishment of the solar space uh, company. Thank you so much. Yes. Good morning, hi, Tebo. Good morning, Pius. Uh, Logic Lukonda from Zambia Daily Mail. Uh, the question is, um, I think the, the measures uh, that are yet to be announced and they highlighted here in terms of alternatives for ZESCO to improve the situation were highlighted by Mr. Panda last week in the, the other briefing on an announcement on the rejection of the proposed types. Maybe people out there want to know what are some of these measures and uh, when will they come? Because as we speak, I think we are all coming from communities and four hours of power, I think it's a, it's a tall order for many residents out there in terms of uh, literally doing everyday uh, activities. So what are these measures and when do they come? Because last week, they were announced by the ERP board chair. Today we are still talking about these measures. When are they coming? Because I think the situation out there is there. Thank you. We have the PS answer those set of questions, then we'll ask the next step. Yes. Yes, um, allow me to ask Zesco to give us the number of people who have so far subscribed for this uh, net metering. Uh, good morning, PS, uh, DG, VA, uh, Board Chair, ERB. I will talk to the questions uh, regarding one, net metering. Net metering, I think, we effectively said to avoid out from uh, fuel flows but we have a few issues that we needed to, to resolve. A few more minutes and those to tighten. But as the 7th September and July moved in and applied for net metering. So this system will be delivered from uh, 7th September. In terms of where we, we are, can we apply for net metering? Put up your solar panel anywhere in the country and you'll be connected to net metering. You can apply from anywhere in the country for as long as you have a solar panel, you'll be connected and you apply for net metering. This will be affected. The second question of the diesel generators. So far, we received uh, nine generators. They will be installed at various market points. The total generation from the diesel generators is 12 megawatts. But what this does is it creates a relief of about 39 megawatts from exempt loads. 
areas where we needed to retain a certain quantum of power on account of us installing our diesel generators will be able to save uh, 39 megawatts. Thank you. The the other the other question by um, our colleague from is it Daily Mail? What alternatives is government putting in place in view of the fact that the board chairman for year be here said no to that application which Zesco made? We are, as government, of course, we are concerned that Zesco is experiencing this problem of financial drought, and therefore there is need to see to it that Zesco doesn't completely go down. I will not dwell so much into what government is going to do, but certainly suffice to mention that Zesco will be assisted financially. Last uh, press briefing, I think we did indicate that Zesco is importing power at a premium cost, but Zesco is selling this same power at a cost below that which the imported power from various sources like EDM and ESCOM. Any business person would know that if you buy your tomatoes at 40 kwacha a box, and then you sell that same at 20 kwacha, you are just digging your own grave economically. So we do understand why RB had to come up with that decision, and we do support ERB for making that decision, but we are not going to fold our arms and see Zesco sink. So there are issues that we are discussing with the Ministry of Finance and the